Hi everybody, this is Miss O'Donnell, and today we are going to transition to some writing. Um, today I'm actually just going to be showing you, and then tomorrow you're going to be starting the writing. So, let's go over today's learning target. Our learning target is I can use pictures and words to state an opinion about where to plant trees and provide a reason to support it. So there's some important parts in this learning target. So I can use pictures and words, so that tells me we're gonna draw and write, to state an opinion. Here's our picture for opinion. Remember an opinion is what you think or feel. So you're gonna write and draw about what you think about where to plant a tree. So you're gonna be saying where you think we should plant trees. And it might be different from what other people think. And you're going to have to provide a reason to support your opinion. That means you're going to have to give an example of why your opinion makes sense or why you think that. Okay? So just to recap, today you're going to be sharing, or sorry, tomorrow, I'm going to be showing you today and you're going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow you're going to be sharing um, where you think you should be planting a tree and why you think that. Okay? So let me show you an example of an opinion model. So when we're writing an opinion, here's an example of what it should look like. So here's my model. It says, I would plant a tree next to the school building because people can enjoy looking at the tree through the school's windows. I would plant a tree next to the school building because people can enjoy looking at the tree through the school's windows. I'm going to show you the parts of this sentence. So the first part is telling us where they would plant a tree. I would plant a tree next to the school building. That's their opinion. That's what this person thinks, right? They think that they should plant it next to a school building. Somebody else might think something different. Next important part is the word because. So when you have an opinion and a reason, you usually connect them with the word because. That's just going to connect us to the reason. So the reason why they would plant it next to the school building is because they want people to enjoy looking at the tree through the windows. So in an opinion sentence, we have to have the opinion, what you're thinking, the word because, and the reason, okay? So now I'm going to show you the opinion writing planner, which you're going to work on tomorrow. Okay, so it looks like this. It says, where would you plant a tree and why would you plant it there? Over here is a place and over here is the reason. Okay, so because I'm on my computer, I can't really draw the place. So I'm going to drag in a picture, but you guys will get to draw. So for example, I might say I would plant a tree by a house. So I would draw the tree by the house, and then down here I can just write those words. I don't have to write a whole sentence. So I might say, by a house, by, b, i, by a house, h, house. Remember, your spelling doesn't have to be perfect. That is okay. How did I get on that page? Okay. So I would plant a tree by a house. You only need a few words for these. And then over here, you're gonna draw a reason. Why would you plant it by the house? Well, I remember when we were learning about, when we read some stories, we learned that trees block the wind. So it would be helpful to have a tree by your house because it would block the wind. So in here, I'm gonna say trees block the wind. So trees block block. Oh, I know that at the end of a word is a CK. Trees block the wind. 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 Okay. So I would plant a tree by a house because trees block the wind. Okay. So um, after you watch this video, you might want to start thinking about where you would plant your tree, and then tomorrow you're going to be filling this out. Um, if you get to this assignment tomorrow and you forget what to do, you can come back and watch this video. Um, and I'll also link in the charts that we made um, listening to the stories A Tree is Nice and Mama Miti, so you can see the reasons why people plant trees. 
All right, guys, good luck and let your teachers know if you need any help.